everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I've got some video I'm going to put in here. I guess we could put it in right here. Well, um, well no, not yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to tell you, I was that I was asked to show my lettuce plant. So you will see that in this video. You will see that. I was asked to show that by Jean Jacobs. She wanted to know if I still if I if I was still doing the lettuce. I am. It's really spindly. It's growing and it's got flowers on it and it's going to go to seed. So I'm going to let it go to seed and then I will take the seeds and try to grow them. I don't know if it'll be success or not. We will try. And I know a lot of seeds are extremely tiny. Last year I was actually taking lettuce seeds out of their little pods and they're so little and I actually mentioned in that video can you imagine doing this for a job? I wouldn't want to do it. They'd have to pay me an awful lot because it was really time consuming to gather those seeds. Well let's go to that video and you'll see what I saw today. Yesterday I showed you the eggshells. Today I sprinkled them around and this is what the chickens do. See? They enjoy eating them. There they are, all enjoying the eggshells. I just sprinkle them on the ground. Sometimes I put them in their food, but most of the time I just sprinkle them. Taking you for a ride. Where am I taking you? I'm taking you to the greenhouse to get some plants. Well, we're at the greenhouse. We came here last year and we're back. They're open today. Oh yes, this is the end. The entrance is, let's see, they have an arrow. Entrance is a new place. Got to go over here. Oh, gee whiz. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. Oh, this is pretty with the grapes, vines on the yep. thing. Wow. There's some. Uh, that's kind of nifty. What is that? Collard greens. What are they? Well, collard greens, collard Long greens. Island, Brussels sprouts. Oh, I don't want those. We grew Brussels sprouts and Broccoli. all they did was get black bugs and I don't want that. It's easier to just go to the farmer's market or go buy them. Black Her beauty eggplants in there. Oh, that's a cabbage. You want eggplant. We have to wear these, which are, and hang on to them. It's like hanging on to a pocketbook if you're outside. There you go. And break the plastic. Okay. Well, That's now I got to put it down so I can put the mask on otherwise, or put it over here on these carts. We can take a cart with us. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Face cover in the corner. Earlier I checked on Emma and Emma acted strange. She puffed up at me and was not happy with me looking in. Oh, she's moved. You've got lots of poop there, girl. I gotta clean that up. You're over there now. You moved your babies and eggs. See, she's puffing up, so she's got something going on. 
I don't know what she's doing. There, Mr. Brown. Hello there, baby. Hello. <laughs> Gotta gather the eggs. Hello there, lady. What you doing? I gotta get my eggs. Oh, this is not easy with one hand. I'll hold it with my shoulder. Yeah, these are warm. Somebody was sitting on them. Somebody didn't like that nest as much. Lots of eggs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And one more over here. Fifteen, and I have to check Mr. Brown's. Fifteen so far. Fifteen eggs. That's pretty good. They enjoy the cooler weather, apparently. Fifteen eggs. We got fifteen eggs so far. I'm going to check Mr. Brown's. And these are the plants that we're going to plant, but he's going to put up a, a shield for a little while so that they can get used to the sunshine and then we'll put them in the ground and my radishes are looking lovely we're gonna check if mr brown gave me an egg today or not let me see oh yes so i've got 16 eggs um emma's moved a little more she's got poop i gotta clean up too because but she's kind of puffing up at me so she must be something's happening i betcha You want that moved over here? Wait a minute, yes, it's please. stuck. There you go. He has to put that on there for the window stuff, only because they would the wind blow, it away. blow it away. Yeah. This is pretty nifty. We have never gotten our plants this early, never. This is really early. But they'll do fine with um, a little protection. And this way, if it gets cold tonight, we don't have to, yeah, I'll hold this up. This way we don't have to worry about it getting cold. And then take them off again when it, if it, during the day to, to, oh, it's got the rubber in there, Jim. Okay. There you go. I'll go bring Mr. Brown's egg in the house. So we got 16 eggs today. That's good. They like good. the cold weather. Today I was asked about my lettuce. And I said it was growing, but it's getting spindly and it's starting to blossom. Let's see, it's got some blossoms here. So it's going to go to seed. And when it goes to seed, I'll take some of those seeds and try and grow them. Well, we're going to check the bluebirds and see what's happening in the box. Remember, always knock. Knock before you enter. Take the, nobody came out, so we should be okay. Oh, they've, they've um, feathered out some. Can you see the little birdies? They're looking pretty. Close it back up, put my thing back in. I also was thinking because a lot of you mentioned that you had never eaten the radish greens. And I was wondering how many other people haven't eaten a lot of greens that I eat. I eat the tops of the let of the celery. Of course I eat the tops of the lettuce. Everybody <coughs> eats lettuce. I eat the tops of the celery. I eat the tops of beets, 
But what it was is what had come to my mind was the foods that people throw away or used to throw away or thought were really bad. Did you know that people used to throw chicken wings away? I remember my father saying that that they were making fun of the Italians because they were the ones that were eating the chicken wings. Well, look at the world today. Chicken wings are not thrown away, but they cost by the by the wing and you're only getting a part of the wing you're not even getting the full wing and yeah. another thing that people used to throw away was did you want to say something no. oh another thing people used to throw away and my parents used to ask for and the butcher thought they were nuts they were absolutely crazy but they used to ask for the bones why did they want the bones because they liked to boil them and make bone broth which is really big in the keto community today a lot of people are making bone broth because they found that it's actually very healthy. It's got a lot of collagen in it. And I remember when Jim and I were first married and we would go up to his parents' house and to his aunt's house and it would be like for Thanksgiving or a Thanksgiving meal or a meal with a turkey. And I used to say, don't throw the bones away. I want to take them home. And they'd look at me like, what is she going to do with the bones? Why does she want the bones? Well, I used to... And oh, Jessica that with does her it. her in laws too. Yeah, she does that too. She tells her mother in law, Don't throw the turkey away. They save it for her now, the bones, because you take the bones home, you boil them and you can make bone broth. You can make really good soup with it. And a lot of people don't even carve their turkeys to the point where you, there's a lot of meat on there. So when mm -hmm. after you boil you pick the meat off and you've got a whole couple pounds of meat just with the bones it's it's really shocking that was something that came to mind about uh, foods that people don't know they can eat I've watched people when they clean strawberries they cut the whole top off what, what are they thinking that's a waste that is a big waste did you know you could eat the the whole strawberry even the greens on top you just put them in a smoothie and you could eat those or if you're going to take the top off, then just use a little teeny thing, and it's like, it's got like a little core there that you would take out. But I would say just eat it, eat the whole thing, put it in your put it in your smoothie and enjoy it. Because we used to just pick the the green leaves off and leave everything else and eat it all. Yeah, the stem and everything. Well, I mean, yeah. the stem was gone. It's all the stem was gone. Yeah, so yeah. you were eating that little core thing even. And there's a lot more vitamin C and calcium and iron in the strawberry than you realize. Those of you that like to make your own nut milk with the almond milk or the cashew milk, when you get done making it, you have all this little bit of, after you strain it, you have a lot of pulp left. Don't throw that out either. Put it in your baked goods if you bake. Or if you eat yogurt, you could sprinkle some on top of the yogurt. Or you could put it on top of your cereal, or you could put it on your on your salad. It is really good tasting. There's a lot of nutrition in those nuts. And that you want to spread them on a cookie sheet and dry them up. Dry them in yeah, the you oven. can dry them up, and they'll be good. And you can eat those. They're really it adds a little crunch to everything. The carrot tops, peels, and the greens. You could eat those too. And if you're making a soup, you could just throw the whole carrot in tops and and the carrot don't have to peel it you'd be surprised a lot of peels are are unnecessary all I do is I sometimes take the there is a vegetable brush that's just a rough brush that you could just wash the carrots with don't need to peel them just wash it and I do that with potatoes and then I take the potato skins and I cook them up you've had you've bought I'm sure potato skins well I like to leave my potato skins on the potatoes if I can, but when the kids are here, they don't really like the potato skins, so I will peel them off, but then I put a little um, oil on them, special uh, either, or bacon grease on them. Usually it's bacon grease, mm -hmm. and I put them in the oven and let them cook up, and boy, they're good. But the carrots and that, you can the tops, the greens, you can eat them with the eggs, like I did the eggs with the beets. 
There's so many things you can do. And like the mushrooms do, uh, I've got cheat cards in case you're wondering why I look down. I do have cheat cards because I made these today, but I only do a few of them because this video is pretty long today. But there's mushroom stems. How many of you cut the mushroom stems off and discard them? Don't do that. You can cut a little bit off the bottom where it might have been in the, might be dry. Cut that off if you wish. And then you chop them up and you can put them in. If you make in stuffed mushrooms, you'd put it into the mixture that you're going to put inside the little cap. Or you just fry the whole thing up or just cook it. I like my mushrooms fried. I don't know how you eat them, but I like them fried. And they're really good. If you buy rice cakes, I don't know if you buy rice cakes or not. I don't. I did look at them, though, when I was in the store the other day and I was thinking about it, but I didn't buy them. But if you buy rice, I did. If you buy rice cakes... And you notice that there's crumbs in the bottom. Don't throw those crumbs out. You could sprinkle them on cereal, cooked cereal. You can sprinkle them on your ice cream if you eat ice cream. Or you can sprinkle them on yogurt. You can sprinkle any of the cereals that are broken up. Don't throw them away. And if they are too big, just crush them a little more. And it's really good. You know, when I was growing up and we had ice cream, we used to buy cornflakes. We never had cornflakes for breakfast, but we did have cornflakes on our cereal. You can turn that heater off. I'm pretty warm. Ooh, I feel myself getting very warm. It is very warm in here. Too. Yeah, we, he turned the heater, heater, heater on for me. But we used to, the ice cream, we used to have ice cream with cornflakes. I haven't had ice cream in probably two years since our last motorcycle trip, mm -hmm. which was a long time ago. Last poker run. Yeah, the last poker run. It's the last time I had ice cream because they they have their poker stops, and this one poker stop was an ice cream place, so I had an ice cream cone. Guess what kind I had? Can you guess? Hmm. Yeah, I had one with nuts. I like it. I had butter pecan. I like the butter pecan. If you like ice cream, let me know if you like ice cream and what kind you like. You can put that in the comments. And... I will talk to you all again. That's it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll see you. Bye-bye. And I feel like I look good. <laughs> Nothing to do. I'm all right, I guess. Yep, you're good. I don't know. If that's not going in. <laughs>